Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about how to measure odds. Now, in terms of measuring odds, there's actually a formula associated with that, in that the odds of an event happening, you're taking the number of outcomes for the event E, and you're pitting it, and there's a colon there, the number of outcomes against the event happening. So the idea here is if you're flipping a coin and you want to find out the odds of a head, okay, basically you're thinking about the number of ways you can get a head if you're flipping the coin once, it'll just be one, and then the number of ways you can not get a head, which is tails, and that'll be one, so the odds of flipping a coin and getting a head is one to one. Now if you have cards, for example, and you want to find out the odds of drawing a jack, you want to think about how many ways can you draw a jack, and that's going to be four, and the odds and the number of ways you don't draw a jack will be 48 if you're talking about a 52 card deck, so the odds of getting a jack is four to 48. Now odds can be reduced if you can reduce both numbers, and so four to 48 can be reduced as one to 12. So when it comes to measuring odds, as long as you follow this formula and are aware of the different numbers involving different models, you should be fine. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's a brief description on how to measure odds.